Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It's wonderful to have you here as always. So today I'm going to be doing some lower control arm bushings in Ethel. Basically I'm going to show you how to do your lower control arm inner bush and the radius bush also in the lower control arm. And it should be the same bush from VR right through to VZ, I'm pretty sure. They're all the same. VN, VP might be different. It might even be the same stuff. I can't really remember. But it does basically all your Commodores. Um, these ones in this car are shot. First things first, so I've got to get the wheels off. Uh, we'll get it up in the air and we'll get the arms out. I'll show you the bushes and then I'll show you how to change them out. So yeah, stick around. I gotta get some work done well, while I get to work. Cue the time lapse music for me. It is just cue the music. So I got this one out, and this is why I'm replacing it. As you can see here, it's all split, torn. Same on the back side here, around the... All right, so battery died. I ended up just getting this one off the car off camera quickly. So you can see that this one's dead as well. All around the ferrule, it's just all torn and the rubber's all cracked and separated. This one's done as well. Um, it's, it's not as bad as this one though. Um, so normally at work I'll do these in a vise, um, but my vise isn't strong enough to deal with this. Well, it's not mounted properly. I don't have a better, a proper bench yet. So I'm just going to sort of do this on the ground. They're not hard to get out. I'll show you how to get these ones out. This one I'll have to do in the vise, uh, but again, they're not hard to get out. So to get these guys out, you need a cold chisel. Uh, mine's not a very big one, but it's going to be big enough to do this, and then a knockometer. Basically, what you want to do is around here, around the edge of the bush, you just want to crush it in. So you just want to work, you just want to work around the perimeter of the bush, just sort of crush it in on itself a bit, and then I reckon a couple of good. There we go. And then like that, they come out. Uh, this one I had to give it a bit of a hit on this side of the bush as well. Um, but yeah, a few good smacks with a hammer and the bush will come out. So these, dog, move, get out of it. So uh, these bushes, yeah, right so these bushes have a, a recess. Um, they'll only go into the control arm one way. Should be pretty easy to get it into the arm. Basically, I'm just going to make sure. I don't know if it's going to go wide enough. Just got to make sure the recess goes on the, into the recess side, like so. We got a bit of degreaser. That 
way we're not going in dry because no one likes to go in dry. And push her in. Hopefully. That's got it started. Put a bit more lube on there. I think I need my socket. Someone done. Sometimes you got to push it a little further to get this back edge to pop out enough. But yeah, that's someone done. Go ahead and get this one out. Which shouldn't be too hard, I hope. So these bushes are easy, these are just a two piece design, so one of these will go in one side, one of these halves will go in the other, and there you go. Both of these have a steel ferrule that will go through here, lube them up. bit on the ferrule and in the bush. Get it in there and just push it through. Get out of it Nismo. That's that one, same with this one. The lube on the ferrule, the lube in the bush. Nice. 
and that's it. That's your control arm done. So that'll go back in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one. Well, there you go, that's it. So both of them are in. Um, I went ahead and did all of them up. If these were rubber, I wouldn't be able to do them up in the air like this. They'll have to be done up on the ground. Um, but being polyurethane, they can be done up in the air. Having a hoist makes this job much easier. I couldn't imagine trying to do this on the ground on jacks or jack stands. Um, Obviously not everyone's going to have access to a hoist to be able to do this. If you are able to get the control arms out, your local mechanic should be able to swap the bushes over in the arms easy enough anyway. So, yeah. Um, I am now going to have to go and get a wheel alignment, so I'll get it into work one of these days and give it a wheel alignment and I'll show you guys the specs that are run for that. Alright, well yeah, anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it here today in this video, so, they've been done now, so that's going to be good, I have noticed that my sway bar end link bushes are stuffed, so I'm going to have to go ahead and get myself some of those, um, but yeah, suspension work's probably going to be some of the most rewarding stuff that you're going to feel, just the way the car drives and behaves, etc. Um, Probably some of the harder work that you're going to do as well, especially trying to do something like that on a jack or jack stand. 
Like I said, if you can get the control arm out of the car, generally works out cheaper for you because you can just take it to your local mechanic and you should be able to just simply swap the bushes over. Um, yeah. That's going to be it from me in this video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get the wheels slapped back on, get it down off the hoist, and call it a day. Go and wash up, get some rest, and get ready to go out for dinner. Somewhere, do something. Um, yeah, anyway. Get out of it, you little shit. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here today. Um, hopefully I can get out and make a video of this thing driving with the exhaust system again. Um, hopefully in the dry so I can sort of test its responsiveness. Um, but yeah, overall I'm happy with the way this has turned out. Um, by now I should know whether or not it's killed um, the drone that it had. Hopefully it has killed that. Um, I need to do another one of these rubber couplings. This one's dead again. Um, and I'm going to do that uni, so maybe in a video coming up I'll drop this out in the tail shaft. I'll do the rubber coupling and that uni. It is dead. I did find out that it was actually dead, so I need to do that. Um, but yeah, i got to get some sticky tires on the back. Try and head out to Willowbank as soon as I can. and. Hopefully run a decent time. But anyway, that's going to be it for me in this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Please leave your comment, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Look at this dog. Go on, got a damn rag from somewhere. And he's not just chewing it up for the sake of chewing it up, he's eating it. Dumbass. Yeah, you, you dumbass.